Righto guys, welcome back to another episode on the GTR and we're getting very close to getting this thing running. So I thought we'd start off straight by undoing freight which I've been waiting on for quite some time now and I probably gave these guys a bit of a hard time um, trying to get hold of it. So literally seven days before we head down south to the dyno, finally our Hypertune radiator has turned up. Welds are just mem mesmerizing on this stuff, like this well pot. It's, I could imagine this would be quite difficult, something like this to weld, and it's just insane. I'm glad that I got that. It was only recommended by Hypertune that I should get that. We get the exit point or the radiator cap at the highest point of the car. We can mount it up a lot higher than what it would be if it was on the radiator. So that's really cool. I do have two radiator caps to choose from. The limited edition HKS cap, which is brand new. And then I've got the Nismo cap. Both are really cool caps. It's a little bit of a novelty thing, I guess, but let me know what you would run. Let's talk about the differences between the two radiators and why I went Hypertune over the PWR standard radiator. Hypertune obviously use a PW core, hence the box that it came in. I'm, I'm guessing that core is PW. But the biggest difference between this radiator and the new Hypertune one is the tanks. So on our old one, we had a tank at the top and a tank at the bottom, which is how GTRs come out. So I guess this is sort of an OEM replacement, bit of an upgrade radiator. So in this case, your hot water returns from the motor going to the top of the radiator, falls to the bottom, it cools down, and then it returns back to the motor through the bottom. So you've got your cold water on the pickup. You can see that this radiator has its tanks on its side. So there's a tank on either side and none on the top. And you can see that the fins actually go horizontal, whereas this ones go vertical. So the water in this radiator, the hot water comes back from the engine into the side tank here. It then does a double pass. So it goes up that way and then it goes back this way and out here. But the side tanks is a massive sort of cosmetic plus to us because you then don't have these ugly tanks at the top and the bottom. With the tanks on the side, we clear up a lot of room. We can, it's the radiator, the core is essentially bigger. So instead of having just this small area like that, you end up with a, a lot more room. And because the tank is on the side, where the pickup, the bottom and the top is on a GTR, the top is there and the, where it comes out of the motor is actually quite high. It's not down low where you think it'd be. It's probably halfway there. So we've we sort of got to bring this one straight up and in, onto the motor. Other difference is the fan. So this was the fan on our, and, and this was the biggest issue as to why we didn't go with the PWR radiator. This fan shroud, which is a Frenchie's Performance Garage shroud, and trust me, these things work. If you don't have one of these in your GTR, you should be getting one. But the issue with this one big fan is it hit on the barn's external pump, so we couldn't run it. There was no way I could run it. This is a really, really clean radiator, and that's why I wanted to go with it. Like, it's the way that they make these fan shrouds and, and all the welds on the sides, it's super, super clean. It's gonna look awesome. Um, especially in our engine bay. And then obviously we got all this room underneath where they won't hit on the barn's external oil pump. So massive plus. And then last but not least, top radiator hose and our lower radiator hose, which we've had the famous Hypertune clamps made. So these clamps here are very similar to the Wigan style clamps that we used on the intercooler pipe. So instead of having radiator hoses, we're actually gonna have solid pipe. So solid alum aluminum pipe. Got the fabricator, Benny, coming around this afternoon to weld all this stuff up. So that gives me today to fit the radiator and get all this stuff in the car. And then the fabricator will come this afternoon 
This is a huge plus for us to get this done because now we get this in the car, we're sort of just waiting on that wiring loop. Two awesome radiators. I'm going with the Hypertune one for the moment just because of how good it looks. Fuck, this thing looks. A few moments later. This Hypertune radiator and fan shroud was custom built. We waited a long time for it and they've kind of f***ed us in the f***ing ass. So, this is our beautiful HKS pipes that we've had painted and fabricated. So this is an original, for those that don't know, I'll give you a rundown. This is an original HKS intercooler piping that we've fabricated into the Raceworks clamps. We've then utilised the HKS blow-off valve, the SQ4, which everyone loves. And that was over here and it was all, you know, all in there, perfect, ready to go. This is like a genuine spot. So this is an, a genuine Nismo tape manifold, and this is also genuine Nismo pipes. Like it, it's, they just bolt straight on. There's no custom sort of angle or anything to it. Hypertune put the outlet right where the blow off valve is. So there's no way we're gonna be able to run this. So that means we need to fabricate another pipe up and then we've got to put a blow off valve in somewhere. So whether or not we cut this one out and run this or we just not use this at all, save it for another build and get a Raceworks or Turbo Smart blow off valve. So up in the air at the moment, a little bit upset about it all because I really loved this. This was the build right from the start, it was one of the first things that we ever made. So a bit upset, but we'll get there. We'll, we'll work through that. Then here comes the next bit. The origin, the reason we couldn't run the Frenchies Performance Garage fan shroud is because it hits on the barn's external oil pump and also the power steering. So when we contacted Hypertune, we told them exactly what we had. We had the barn's external pump and we just wanted a, a radiator that could fit and have the cool fan shroud with smaller fans to accommodate the barn's pump. Worst luck, these things don't fit. It hits on the power steering. So literally this radiator is for an R32 GTR. Why is it hitting on the power steering? I don't understand that. Um, so it's absolutely <laughs> It's put us in a really hard spot because in five days we're meant to be on the dyno. So yeah, it's, it's not much fun here tonight. I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Sorry I didn't get to film a lot of that. It's been a chaotic four or five hours here in the workshop. As you can see, the car is now more pulled apart than it has been in a long time. I think it's about 1.30 Saturday morning. We've come across a few issues and it's, it's actually upset me a bit, but yeah, I thought we were on the right track. It's changed a few things. The build is not the same now, what you're about to see. Thank you to, to all the boys who stayed back and helped me tonight. I really appreciate it. Got the front bumper back off and that is because we now need to find a new location for the blow off valve. Yeah, Hypertune, I'm sure they didn't mean to let us down and look it's probably just a communication error or something but these fans are far too thick like you can see there it's going to hit on the power steer pump. Now this is a French's performance garage power steer kit and pump and look it, it has brought it forward a long way. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do something a bit tricky here. So we're going to run one 11 inch fan now one fan is probably nearly going to be enough we've removed this one here that's going to hit on the power steer pump and if you have a look right on the other side of this is our new french's performance garage ac fan right here now now i know what you're thinking you should just leave this open i'm not going to leave this open i'm actually going to close this off so i'm going to get a plate of nice aluminium and bolt 
in the four holes there, one, two, three, four. Now the reason for that is if I block this off, it'll actually create a better suction for this this fan to suck through. So I need to talk to the tuners just to make sure we can make it work, but I'm pretty sure we can make that happen. And then that's gonna clear up, like clear this whole area up. It'll make it easier for changing belts if we need to. This is how bad this radiator's been. But the top, the top radiator hose, right? Like, I told them this was an RB2630 setup. So that was gonna be a little bit higher. But this here is like pointing down. So we had to cut this beautiful weld off. So we had to cut this off and we need to rotate this slightly just so it's facing up. And then even then it's so close to going into that. Like I've aimed the top hose right at the intake manifold, but I do understand Hypertune radiator, the guys are gonna be running a Hypertune manifold. So I'll let them off for that. So that's where we're at yeah so i don't know maybe i can bolt my swell pot up just so i feel like i've done something we are gonna can make this car work if it's the last thing i do only the next morning good morning and i'm tired but things are well, it's not looking up yet but we're we're looking forward we're focusing forward just had a big conversation on the phone to jamie who is undisputedly the reason behind this build honestly and I can't thank him enough so we've put a few motions in place with Raceworks to get some parts shipped up ASAP oh, yeah I know wouldn't that sort it out that would just cool everything down we wouldn't have a little bit better now but still um, a lot of work to do so I'm gonna have to call in a few favors for some friends today to come around of a Saturday I'm sorry apologized in advance but Out of our control now I've got most of it mocked up all the new stuff mocked up and that's gonna get all fabricated tonight and Paul the lovely fabricator will drop it off for us tomorrow it'll go into paint next week so while they're being painted we also need to cut the bonnet to clear the RB26 valve covers and I wasn't gonna put these on and then I seen a car at Cootamundra with them on I've got to put these on. So we're going to fit these up tonight so Brad can paint them tomorrow. Now they fit up awesomely. So now they'll go up to Brad's to be painted. Oh, now in one boot lift. Yeah, so see how it sort of sits. It does sit up on each end, so if we could get a bolt in each end to pull it down, I don't think we need to go drilling too many holes in this. And in all honesty, to drill holes in it, I think we've got to take this boiler back off, and I don't really want to do that. Little trick here. So, see where the bolt hole is? You're going to put a nice little... So that's it for another episode guys it's a what is it late saturday night here i hope everyone's enjoying the journey as much as we are i think we're going to get there it, the car's insane the the level that we've brought it to is just it's cool and i'm pretty proud to try and build a car as good as the gtrs and other cars that you see on instagram and youtube these days so that's what's going on we need to drop some parts up to get painted bigger fuel pumps in this thing tomorrow and then I'm going to start doing the trigger kit get that sorted we got to get out of here guys I got someone waiting for me cheers boys